I can't do anything about it. Welcome to the show. Fiberglass Boomtown. Mecca for the V8 faithful. Pilgrims, diehards, gearheads, zealots. A multitude of fans bound together by a ribbon of asphalt. Celebrating as one the triumph of speed and the escape from everything routine. If you've never been, check your expectations at the gate. Everything else is just a game. Oh boy, Michigan. We did really well last time, but I think there's one, maybe one or two tweaks this up I need to make to make sure we can uh, do better again. <laughs> do you think we need to do any better at, at this point of the season? We have uh, a huge lead and we've won the last four in a row. So, actually, three in a row, my bad. <sighs> I can't believe we messed it up. It's been the last three, but five of the last six. So, I mean, ridiculous. I, uh, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Chassis one. Or chassis, the first chassis in the list. That's chassis four, sorry. Engine four. And uh, body six. We've all been a little bit up from Rockland's Glen, but not bad. Go course racing and do that. But Karn Sang six. I like it. Let's qualify and see if we can uh, bring, a, bring a good piece home with the, with the original paint scheme. First lap 38-3, it's only good enough for 8th place, but I'm going to make sure this lap's a lot better, and it definitely is. <laughs> Almost 7 tenths faster, pole position, so, in that first lap, so that was pretty, pretty insane on itself. <laughs> Oof. Half a second faster than Tommy Stewart, who's second at points, so, it's big. I'd like to get a win in Motor City. Let's do it. John Moore Brian Hall, take it away. Welcome everyone to Michigan International Speedway for our coverage of the Michigan 400. What can we expect in this race, Barney? Well, look for speeds approaching 200 miles an hour and cars running three and four wide. That's a recipe for some exciting stuff. The 83 car is always near the front at these speedways. That's right, and I think he will have an excellent run in this one as well. I spoke to the crew chief this morning and he assured me that they have a very fast hot rod. Jeremy Mayfield changed teams after the 2001 season, ending a four-year tenure with Roger Penske. A lot of people, Ray Evernham included, believe Mayfield still has a lot of untapped potential. He certainly has shown flashes of brilliance in the past. Maybe he can put that number 19 Dodge in victory lane today. Jack Sprague is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Take a look at the starting lineup. The 83 car, the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will be starting for the pole. In the second row are the DuPont Chevrolet and the Pfizer Ford. Starting the race from row three are the Team Rusty Dodge and the Stacker 2 Dodge. The fourth row has the DeWalt Power Tools Ford and the Sterling Marlin Dodge. Starting the race from row five will be the O2 car and the Valvoline Pontiac. In row six we have the Altel Dodge and the Tide Pontiac. Starting from row seven will be the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the Sitco Ford. 
In the eighth row are the Motorcraft Ford and the Caterpillar Dodge. In the ninth row, we have the Dale Jr. Chevrolet and the Singular Wireless Chevrolet. In the tenth row are the M&M's Ford and the Lowe Chevrolet. Starting the race from row 11 are the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. The twelfth row has the Haviland Dodge and the Net Zero Pontiac. Starting the race from row 13 will be the 143 car and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. In row 14 we have the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford and the America Online Chevrolet. Starting from row 15 will be the Granger Ford and the UPS Ford. In the 16th row are the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the Pennzoil Chevrolet. In the 17th row are the 43 car and the Kellogg Chevrolet. In the 18th row are the Hooters Ford and the Kodak Max Film Pontiac. Starting the race from row 19 are the Bam Racing Dodge and the 27 car. The 20th row has the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet and the U.S. Army Pontiac. Starting the race from row 21 will be the David Green Pontiac and the Target Dodge. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the 22 car. Whatever. Let's just, <laughs> let's get the motors loud here in Michigan. I had no interest in fixing that Joe Moore mistake in the, the, the stupid intro with the 26 car. Oh boy, it's not going to turn on the bottom. Uh, well, yeah, I would if Jeff Gordon wasn't stuck me inside there. Oh, okay, thanks for giving me a push, uh, Stone Moore, I needed that very badly. Oh, it sucks that, okay. It sucks that I'm, like, not... Stewart's pulled away, he's gone already. I can't, I can't do anything about it. I'm going to need to report the beat, buddy. That's I don't know what it is, like, with this track and the car, and... I don't know, I, I feel like I had to run a different line than what I'm used to, and it just doesn't work for me. I just don't like, I just don't like how I have to race the track, and... When you... It's like, it feels like it's just, it doesn't work, the grooves, like, don't work as well as I'd like them to. But I'm on the inside somewhere like this, or outside... But I'm outside somewhere right now, I just, it's okay, but... I got the rough too on Rusty Wallace there, but they, I just I can't hold the bottom like they can. It's really frustrating. I'd rather just push Jeff down the front stretch here so he can start catching Stewart, but before he's trying to pass him right now. Oh, well, little rub. Rubbin's racing though, but here, two of them. Thank God. And we'll hold the bottom. Cool. And it does. Run a little better from the middle of the corner there because I like kind of adjusted how I took the corner. I was trying to pull away from them and try to catch up with Stewart. One and a half seconds off the leader, buddy. Oh God! Really? That's not okay. And I went too low in the middle of the corner. That doesn't help either. Damn it! Sometimes I try to focus and I just focus too much and then it just it just hurts me in the long run. The pit stops running away. I feel like I've been pre even with Stewart through one and two. But he just he gets me in three and four, so I'm because I haven't been able to figure out how to drive it properly and that's been the downfall for me right now. Like even there I can't I didn't I missed the turn I just barely missed a turning point. It's gonna cost me about like three tenths right there, I think. So I that's just it's just frustrating. I can't I I've been second, I'm still in second the whole time. I've been able to keep I stay away from stay ahead of like junior and yard guys, but but to no avail really because I have been able to close the gap on Stewart. 
this point, I'm just waiting to see what, how long it will be before Stuart comes out the ropes. I feel like I don't have the long run car at this point. Yeah, I need to make a swing on it. Or at least I need to stay out a little longer, as long as he does, to try to have a chance, because I've got a very short run car at him, I think. I th he's going up here right now. I'm going to have to go with him if I can. Here we go. It all depends on this stop right here. And Jeff Gordon just stopped being off the road there, but at least I got him back as it was coming off. Well, we lost quite a few spots. Uh, those guys played before us, obviously, so we're going to have to play catch up against those guys. It's going to be interesting. Well, pit stops will cycle through. I just got past a couple guys for fourth there. Uh, Bobby Vine is on a bunch of other tires in me, so he'll, he'll be pretty easy prey at this point. I was wondering how he passed me that fast, like, before I got down to the road, and I realized now he, got, he had one, he was one of the first guys to pit. Short pit way before everyone else. Made sure not to fill the tank full of fuel, because I know he can make me bear without a problem. Four, four seconds back. I I think I have to sell for seconds. It's getting, it's getting frustrating, but... It's still, it's still a good finish for sure. Well, hitting the wall is not going to help me catch Dale Jr. If I want to get that second spot like I said I would, I'm... Oh my god, I gotta drive this car better. He's final four laps. I could have gone with me and Lyra Fuel though, one can feel, and I probably would have made it through here. Oh well. Uh, le let's learn. I want to get the slingshot before here if I can, but I think I'm too close to Jimmy to pull that off. Damn it! Ah! Sell for third. Freaking. Ah! Oh. Pop off. I knew what to do there. I backed off to try to get behind him, and I don't know. Okay. Didn't mean to run Jr. at the end there either, but damn, that just, that's frustrating. I, I got the full and then like a single lap. Good job, Stuart. He just dominated this one. A rare caution-free race. Well, that's good news for all these race teams, because that can mean one thing. No major wrecks. The 83 car never even got a scratch in this race. You know, these NASCAR Wincy Cup race teams absolutely love drivers who take care of their cars. Makes their jobs a whole lot easier when they aren't having to spend extra hours in the body shop each week. Well, that's all the time we have today. Join us again for our next live broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing right here on the Voice of NASCAR, MRN.
Yeah, Stuart definitely had Donald Carr there. I just, uh, as much as I wanted to catch him, I just, I don't think I had the right adjustments or anything like that. It just, even though I, like, I, I couldn't even catch him, like, he was, he had a very long card and I couldn't handle it. Just, but second place is still a good payday overall because, I mean, it's still get second place money, and we came, like, also really half again. If we won the race, we probably would have gotten, we probably wouldn't have gotten, like, half actually from winning, but, it's, they just, it's, a, it's unfortunate that we couldn't even really lap either. Jeff Burton led three laps, staying out after Stuart or went to pit. That's about it. Just very far after 11 laps. Yeah, just, uh, it's still a good race overall, but I just, we couldn't get that fourth win in a row again, but I, I guess it doesn't matter because we've still, we still got a nice points gap. I guess that's what really matters in the long run, just to make sure we get the points gap. Enough points to get to win a championship. Well, I have had a chance to see like what the uh, parts or the parts conditions are. Let me see. Three races for the engine now. So after Richmond, now come in, can, like work on the uh, better engines and whatnot. I guess. Well, <laughs> well, fresh uh, engine by it. Well, fresh engine for uh, Homestead at that point, I guess. Uh, it's not bad. The chassis is not bad, but it's not it's really good either. And I like the the engine. The engine's still in pretty good shape. I think I'll save that. I think I'll use that for uh, Bristol. As for the body, yeah, I'll save that for Bristol as well. The chassis is only when we really need some work, and I guess I'll do that. Uh, how many races? The, okay, so the new chassis comes in with six races. I'll overhaul this for I'll overhaul this. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Like. To see how much money it costs because I have like so much money in the bank still. Um, it's crazy how far I've come. Like I was struggling to get by in season two after life, and now season three we just boat, we just have boat little money. I don't need my available to use my thigh but I ever have. And stuff we lost. I think we lost twenty points with Stuart because we only lapped and he had most laps in one. So that's unfortunate. But we still have like nine wins over. So more than anyone else would feel right now, it's ridiculous. Um, he's still hurrying one point back. He's the only one that's in competition me right now because everyone else is three hundred plus back. Uh, everyone else is going to fight for third. At least like Mark Jr. and Gordon are. Rod, Johnson, Jared, they're fighting for, I guess, sixth. Haruka, Bonnie, Stone, Mon, Kenza, they'll probably fight for the rest of the spots in the top ten. I don't know. It just, uh, man, it was good, I guess, but overall, I'd like to, I wish I could have done better. It just, there's always room for improvement, I guess. Thanks for so watching, I hope you enjoyed today. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and if you're new on your channel, or it's more, uh, that's what I've before anything else. Otherwise, if on my Instagram for more updates on the channel, I love doing this. I hope you uh, enjoy watching, do I love. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.